I know your time is precious, so I have compiled this video for the ultimate glow up guide. I'd recommend getting a notepad and writing some notes down. I'll provide you with useful information, however the value of this video comes from where it takes you. In the description I'll provide you with all the links that I think are useful for your glow up journey. Here is a list of things you need to maximise to achieve your glow up. I'll be going through every step in the order shown. But first, pause the video and check off what you think you have maximised. Some of these are more important than others, and some are quicker to maximise than others. This is crucial if you want to achieve a glow up. With lower body fat percentage, your muscle definition increases. Looking leaner also makes the face look more defined. You cannot afford to be high body fat percentage if you want to glow up. We all know this, it's obvious, as in almost every glow up TikTok, people go from fat or chubby to lean and shredded. To get lean, you need to fix your nutrition. Understand one key concept. Weight loss is when calories out is greater than calories in. To be in a caloric deficit, you need to first calculate what your maintenance is. There will be a calorie calculator in the description. Whatever your daily caloric maintenance is, you take about 300 to 400 calories away from that. Do not go too far with this as it will cause binge eating. Make this loss of calories seamless. One easy way you can do this is by implementing intermittent fasting. It saves you time, money and has many benefits besides fat loss. Try and push your first meal to about 5-6 to six hours after waking up, with your first meal being a low carb 700-800 to 800 calorie meal. Then you can eat whatever you want as long as the meal is in your calorie range. The type of meal you eat is also important. I recommend eating about 0.7 to 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight, but do not obsess over the number of grams you eat. Eating over 100 grams of protein in a day should be enough. If you're trying to gain muscle because you're skinny, I would apply the same principles, however, eat 300 to 400 calories more than your maintenance. You can have a low body fat percentage and still need to work on yourself. The ideal physique that we should all strive to achieve has higher muscle mass. It looks amazing and makes you look strong and have higher testosterone. To gain muscle, you need to understand the principle of progressive overload. Gradually increase the weight or the number of reps every time you hit the gym. The best way to make sure you are incorporating this is by tracking your workouts. Make sure to lift heavy with a rep range of 4-8 to eight reps and include loads of heavy compound exercises. They use multiple muscles and are great for progressive of overload. Make sure to keep your workout simple and minimalist. Work out at least three times a week. To achieve the best results, programming is crucial. In the description I will provide YouTubers that I recommend watching for programming a device. Finding the right hairstyle can improve your look significantly. You can try defining your face shape, however I recommend visiting a hairstylist and consulting with them. Visiting a hairstylist is so beneficial as they provide a trajectory for your hair and give you general hair advice, which you will not get with a barber. Make sure to get haircuts regularly. If you want to always look good, your hair needs to be in good condition. I recommend oiling your hair and applying minoxidil if you want to grow it out or try and recover from thinning or balding. Shampoo and conditioner at least every three days. You do not wish to have dry scalp or dandruff. Fashion is a quick fix but can level up your glow up tremendously. Everyone wants to be around someone who is dressed well. It increases your confidence and in general, it's just nice to look good. When buying clothes, find simplistic yet effective and timeless looks. You don't need to be wearing branded clothing. Simplicity is key. Try to adopt a fashion style. If you lack inspiration, I recommend going on Pinterest, which has thousands of different styles and outfits already chosen for you. It's a great source of inspiration. If you are struggling to find the style, then I can name a few. Old money, skater boy, soft boy and edgy are just a few I can recommend. I will also link a few fashion channels in the description for you to watch. Regardless if you have acne or not, you need to be washing your face with a cleanser and then applying sunscreen and moisturising, preferably SPF 20 or above. If you are suffering from acne, I recommend you visit a doctor or a dermatologist. You simply can't afford to have bad skin if you want to glow up. Taking action is the first step and it is worth it if you want to tackle your acne. You must shower at least every two days, but I recommend you do it every day. After you shower, wear deodorant and antiperspirant. You do not want to smell bad. Another tip is to have gum on you all the time. You do not want to be caught with bad breath, so use it after almost every meal. For your breath to not smell bad, I would also invest in a tongue scraper. Some more general personal hygiene tips is to not bite your nails and to cut them regularly. Invest in a grooming kit. Another way to not smell bad is to invest in cologne. If you are stuck on what to pick, I have some suggestions in the description. 
It's quite simple. Brush your teeth twice a day and floss. Use mouthwash. If you would like whiter teeth, which I recommend, I would look into different types of whitening methods, but I would suggest whitening strips. If you do not like the shape of your teeth, then look into braces or Invisalign. Or if you have the money, then I would suggest veneers. You cannot afford to have crusty lips, especially with how easy it is to fix them. Invest in Vaseline and have it on you at all times. Whenever you feel that your lips are dry, apply it. Invest in an exfoliating scrub and scrub off all the dead skin. Drinking a lot of water will prevent your lips from drying up. It also makes your skin glow, so drink a lot of water. Nose hair can be a massive turnoff for others. It doesn't look great when there is hair poking out of your nose. To remove them, I recommend getting a nose hair trimmer. Do not tweeze or wax them. Just buy an automatic trimmer. That's all you need. Do not go fancy with it. Another thing that can cost your looks a lot is a monobrow. Pluck your monobrow and research eyebrow shaping in general. If you lack eyebrow thickness, then I recommend you use minoxidil to make them thicker. If you have no eyebrows, then after applying minoxidil, I would recommend microblading or micropigmentation. Having great thick eyebrows makes you look more seductive and manly, so really invest in your brows. This one is crucial and severely underrated. Chances are, if you're watching this on your phone, you have text neck. A lot of people nowadays have very poor posture from sitting all day from their work or general laziness. So fixing it will not only make you stand out, but will make you appear more confident. Properly identify what is wrong with you. For example, you may have rounded shoulders or anterior pelvic tilt. Whatever it is, there are multiple workouts on YouTube to help you remove these posture imperfections. I have a couple of videos linked in the description I recommend you incorporate that has helped me fix my posture. I've noticed that mewing has become a lot easier now that my neck has strengthened and I have less of a text neck. Essentially, you can keep your tongue at the top of your mouth. With this tongue posture, you will see a lot of benefits in your facial structure. I will also link some videos below that have helped me understand mewing better. I recommend taping your mouth closed every night with mouth tape. It will build up a habit of nose breathing, as breathing through your mouth has a lot of negative side effects. Throughout your day, you should try and breathe through your nose as much as possible. This is quick and easy. Just do them every day in your morning routine. They take up about 10 minutes of your day and can help further define your face. I have a couple of videos in the description for inspiration on facial exercises. If you want your nutrition to be good, then I recommend taking supplements. One supplement I recommend to take is creatine. Creatine is a naturally occurring compound that helps produce ATP, which is the primary source of energy for muscles, which leads to improved strength and power for fitness. Another supplement for gaining muscle would be whey protein. I would also recommend taking vitamin D and vitamin B12 tablets for great bone health and better neurological health. You can have all the above checked, but if you do not have your life set up correctly, then you won't be happy. To glow up is not only to have an increase in physical appearance, but also feel happier with yourself. Start doing cool stuff and make your lifestyle attractive. Enroll in a sport or find a fun hobby. This will be great for your mental health and attract friends and make people want to be with you.